Hey y'all, it's Tracy. Welcome to Just Dig It Farms. Today I'm making up our spray that we use to spray our bees whenever we are harvesting honey, or inspecting our bees, or when we catch a swarm. Um, we use this spray for a lot of different things, but we don't smoke our bees, um, number one, because the smoke, I can't breathe with that smoke. Um, it just chokes me up so bad I can't even breathe. So we don't use it for that reason mostly. But also when you're harvesting the honey, if you use smoke, um, it just kind of makes the honey taste have a smoky taste to it. And that's not what we want. So we use this spray for a lot of different things in our beekeeping. Um, I call it Bee Calm because what it does is it just, it really calms the bees down a lot. They go down, it causes them also to just like move down into the hive. Um, bees are very, very clean little insects. And when you spray them, it kind of distracts them because they just start cleaning themselves. They just start cleaning each other's back and just, they're just concerned with cleaning each other instead of being so concerned with you. So it really does calm them. And we found that it works really good. Um, and we like using it a lot better than the smoke. So I'm out of it. I try to keep some made up and I'm out of it because we harvested honey last Friday and we're planning to take our last harvest of honey for the year this Friday and I need to make up some more spray. I use my essential oils a lot in beekeeping. I use them, use them for a lot of different things. I have different recipes and different things that we use. We keep our bees as natural as absolutely possible. I don't use chemicals. I don't use, we try not to feed them sugar water unless we just have to. We try to keep them as natural as we possibly can. So I use essential oils a lot in, in my beekeeping recipes and, and things that I do. So there's five main essential oils that I use. Lemongrass is one of my favorite oils to use. It is antifungal and antiviral. Plus it mimics the pheromone of the queen bee. So this is really good to use for a lot of different reasons. Whenever we catch a swarm, we will spray the bees down with this, this Be Calm spray that I'm gonna show you how to make today. And we'll ju that just helps them to calm down. In the box that we're using to catch the swarm, we'll put a couple of frames in there and we'll spray them down with the lemongrass. It's just a really good one to use to catch swarms. But we also use it just about for all of, our, all of the recipes. Um, what you can do too is you can make a swarm lure box. So when it's swarm season in early spring, um, that's usually when they swarm the most, you can take a nook box or a deep box, hive box and you can smear about three to four drops of this lemongrass on each side of the box. And then you can get some frames that have comb on them, already drawn out comb and honey if you have it stored up, you can take that and put a few drops of lemongrass on those, put them in the box, and then you can put them in a, in a tree or in the, the flight path of the bees. And if they swarm, they're more apt to go to that box than they are to go to a hundred foot tree that you can't get them. You, know, you can't reach it to get to them. So they're real, they're drawn to this lemongrass. So that works great for that too. One of my other favorite oils to use is spearmint or wintergreen. I'm out of wintergreen, so I'm using spearmint, but one is just as good as the other. They are both antifungal, so that just helps to ensure that you have a healthy bee colony. They're also very effective in deterring mites and other insects from coming into the hive, like predatory insects that want to come in and rob the hive. They kind of are a deterrent for those insects. So, um, spearmint or wintergreen mint is one that I use in a lot of our recipes. Another one that I use is tea tree, which is antifungal and antibacterial, and that just, that helps with mite control, that helps with um, just keeping a healthy 
hive. Another oil that I use a lot in beekeeping is thyme, and I'm out of that today. I wish I had it so I could show it to you, but I'm out of it. But that is one that I use a lot of, and that thymol is an ingredient that you find in a lot of the products that you can buy to, um, to control varroa mites. Varroa mites is a big problem in beekeeping and it's inevitable you're going to have varroa mites no matter what, you're gonna have them. So you have to do some kind of measure of control. And there's tons of different things out there that you can do. I'm not gonna get into all of that today, but all we've ever done so far is just use this, this spray that we make up that has thyme in it. Thyme and wintergreen mixed together is very effective in controlling the varroa mites. So varroa mites are little mites that attach themselves to the back of honeybees and they're little blood suckers. So what happens is, is when the, they come in contact with the thyme and the wintergreen mixture, then that blocks the pores on the varroa mite, which shuts down their nervous system. And when that happens, they just fall off of the back of the honeybee and fall to the bottom of the hive box. And what's really a good idea is to have screen bottom boards on the very bottom of your hive. And um, that way, when the hive, when the varroa mites fall off, they just fall all the way to the ground and out of the hive box completely. So we make up this spray, with, which is a mixture of sugar water, thyme, essential oil, tea tree essential oil, and wintergreen or spearmint essential oil. We spray this mixture all in the hive, on the bees, on the frames, on the side of the hive, everywhere that we can get to to spray. And that starts them immediately on that cleaning process. They just start cleaning each other and they actually start cleaning those varroa mites off of each other. And when they, when they fall off, they come in contact with the, um, the thyme and wintergreen mix within the box, which shuts down their nervous system. Um, also, when you spray them, that's automatically causing contact right onto the varroa mite when you spray them as well. So we found this to be pretty effective and we have pretty healthy hives. So I'm assuming it's working pretty good. Um, there's a lot of other different methods, like I said, that you can do to help control varroa mites. And we're probably going to step up our game a little bit this year and, and do a few more things. But as of right now, that's what we do. Now, high concentrations of these essential oils can be harmful to the bees, so you do have to kind of be careful with that. So I'm gonna show you today how I make the Bee Calm sugar water that we use most often. So my ingredients for this are lemongrass and spearmint and I have a spray bottle that I use. It's a low spray bottle, but it's my Be Calm mixture always goes in here. And I have, in this cup, I have one cup of sugar and one cup of water. And I heated that water up and dissolved the sugar in that. We'll use that in a few minutes. In my, I'm using my Nature Bullet because my blender bit the dust and I don't have one right now, so I'm using my Nutribullet, which does good, it does a good job. But in my Nutribullet, I have two cups of water. Now the reason I'm mixing this up, what I'm doing is mixing up two cups of water with my essential oils in this blender. I'm gonna mix it up and blend it up really, really good. And the reason I'm doing that is because oil and water doesn't mix very well. So when you mix it up and blend it up, it just helps to emulsify it. So I am using two cups of water and we're gonna use eight drops of spearmint and eight drops of lemongrass. Eight. And we're gonna use, I think nine went in there, but that was okay. And we're gonna use eight drops of lemongrass. Seven, eight. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna put this on my nitro bullet and mix it up really good. Shake it up a little bit. And I just blended that up really good until it got to be like this milky white liquid. Then I'm gonna take it and pour it into my Be Calm spray bottle. Hopefully without spilling it, we'll see. Okay, now, oh, it smells so good. Now I'm gonna take my sugar water, which remember this was one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and it's cooled down now. I let it sit until it gets totally cooled down. You just heat it up to dissolve that sugar, but I've let it sit till it gets totally cooled down because I don't want the heat to um, mess up the good properties of my oils. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Super easy stuff. Okay. And there we have it. So this is our Be Calm, and it works really good, y'all. Works really good. And then whenever I go to use it, I just give it a really good shake. And we're set. We're ready to harvest more honey this Friday. So my Bee Calm mixture, I use it to um, calm the bees when we're inspecting the hive, when we're harvesting honey, and when we're catching a swarm. It's also really great if you're introducing a new queen to your hive. She's in a little queen cage when you put her in there because the bees have to accept her and get used to her before you just let her loose or they'll kill her. So when you're introducing a new queen to a hive, we spray her down with this. That just helps all the bees to accept her faster. Like if we have brand new foundations and frames, we'll spray this on them and that just helps them to get started quicker on those frames drawing out, um, drawing out comb. Now we only feed our bees sugar water when we have to. We try to leave them enough stores for the dearth periods and for winter so that they can um, survive on their honey alone because the honey has the nutrients in it naturally that they need. So we try to leave them enough um, food stores so that they can make it without us having to feed them sugar water. But there are times when we do need to feed the bees um, just to make sure that, just to help them survive. There's dearth periods and there's winter, and if they run out of food stores, then we will feed them some sugar water. So when we do that, we make up a mixture of the sugar water, and we always add some of these essential oils to the sugar water just as an added nutrition for the bees. We do a one-to-one -one sugar to water ratio, and then we'll add the oils to it. I usually make up a one gallon amount at a time, which is eight cups of sugar and eight cups of water. Then I come back and add to that sugar water about 15 drops of spearmint and about 15 drops of lemongrass. And I just give that to them when necessary to help them survive. Now for the Varroa mite treatment that we use, spray that we make up to use for the Varroa mites, we'll add some tea tree oil to that. We'll use pretty much the same exact recipe as we do for Bee Calm, but we'll add tea tree oil to it as well. Ants are drawn to that honey. So a lot of times there's ants all around the hunt, all around the hives, trying to get into the hives or in the hives. Now the bees do a pretty good job of controlling the ants, but every time we inspect the hives or get into the hives for any reason or purpose, I take one of the big bottles of cinnamon. It's in my beekeeper's toolbox. I keep it in there at all times. And we just take it and sprinkle it all over the inner cover and all around the, the bottom board and all around the base of the hive. We've never had had an ant problem in our hives. And one other thing that we do using the essential oils in our beekeeping is we make up a natural bug spray that we just use all the time out here on the farm because we have bugs really bad. And we just use this natural bug spray that I make up. Well, before we go out into the bee yard, we spray just like right under our, the armpits of the bee suit. We spray in all the like really 
bad sweaty spots will spray that natural bug spray that I use. It doesn't kill the bug, it doesn't kill the bees, it just kind of deters them. Plus when you spray it in those sweat spots, it masks the scent of your sweat. And you will sweat in the bee yard with all of that heavy, hot bee suit on. We have vented bee suits and we still burn up. So it's a, it's a lot of material on you, but you want that material on you because you don't want to get stung. But um, if you spray that on those sweat spots, that really helps and it will not harm or kill the bees at all. It just kind of deters them and keeps them from going for those spots. And they love Gene. The honeybees either love him or hate him. I haven't quite figured that one out yet, but they are really attracted to him. I, I think he puts out some kind of pheromone or something, some kind of scent from his body, and they're just drawn to attack him. Me, they don't really even bother me. I can count on one hand how many times I've ever been stung. Gene's been stung multiple times, and he's slightly allergic. He just swells up like a big blowfish when he gets stung, so we have to do everything we can to keep him from getting stung. I will put a link above this video to show you how I make our natural bug spray that we use here on the farm for chiggers, ticks, fleas, um, mosquitoes, gnats, flies. It works really well for all of those things using my essential oils. I hope this video has given you some helpful information that you can use in beekeeping or if you are not a beekeeper yet, but you are aspiring to be a beekeeper and you're just doing your research, then I hope this helps you. If you have any questions at all about beekeeping or about essential oils, put your questions in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching our channel. God bless you and have a wonderful day.